People from nearby villages come to take a dip in Ajoy River and offer their prayers at the Radha Vinod Temple in the fair complex. However, Ajoy has been running almost dry in winter over the last few years. The devotees therefore take bath in the muddy waters that remain. Kenduli is the hub of bowls, the wandering minstrels who sing devotional songs set to the soulful music of Ektara. Ektara is the simple, one-stringed instrument that is synonymous with bowl music. The bowls stay at Akharas or temporary hermitages. These structures are set up in Kenduli more than a month before the fair. The bowls claim to have inherited the legacy of Jai Deva's songs. The bowls sing of the essence of human existence that is untainted by considerations of class, caste, religion and gender. The word Baul literally means one who is afflicted by the spirit of the wind or mad. The Baals once earned their livelihood only by singing, renouncing pomp or wealth. They embraced a simple lifestyle and welcomed anyone from any section of the society to join them. While some Baals have earned international fame, with their traditional songs getting remixed, some still stick to the original tenets of their sect, leading a nomadic life in the villages of Bengal, Bihar and Odisha. There was a time when Kenduli Mela attracted domestic as well as international tourists. In the last few years, however, the number of bowls has come down. Now, Kirtaniyas, singers of devotional songs based on the life of Krishna, are in the majority. However, bowls, some of them from countries such as Japan and Israel, still come to Kenduli, the place they consider to be their Mecca. For the rest, the Kenduli Mela is like any other selling everything from sweets to ektaras, stoneware, utensils, trinkets, bags and plastic dots. Kenduli in West Bengal's Birbhum district is believed to be the birthplace of Jayadeva, who composed the Sanskrita poem Geet Govinda. Every year, Kenduli hosts a fair in Jayadeva's honour from January 13th to 15th.